So hello and welcome back to Photoshop for Beginners Mini Course Part 3. Okay, and in this one what we're gonna do is just gonna use the images that we created on the press previous video and edit it and actually getting into our website. Now one of the things that we need to do before we actually replace the image to make sure we don't go into replace the original file what we need to do is basically right click on the image that we edited so rename and basically just an end of it just add a number you know so something just to differentiate the image from the original one so the original message is going to get replaced with and in the foot we do exactly the same so right click rename and just add a, a extra number and that's that's enough to make it uh, different from the original file if he, if it was to, to take place and then we don't have original files anymore and we always want to keep the original one in case we want to use it for something else okay so the next step is uh, we have to locate now the header graphic here on the uh, Excel Pro itself and load the new image to it so this is the Excel Pro is pretty simple okay and uh, even in a free in a free website builder you can as well replace this image in the composer which uh, pretty much uh, you know in, the, in those videos uh, if you work in images there then I will show as well uh, how to do that so in your Excel Pro you go to your page layout click on the first one where it says either panel uh, and basically it's, it's just this one that we need to change up, up to top here so click on a folder to load the image and basically has to go to our uh, select from the hard drive so you can go and get the new image and uh, this is the new images okay so the five is the one that I the number I just started which is the top one so click on it open and as you can see the image is now replaced okay without damaging the original one okay the next one we want to do as well is like the same thing with the footer okay so replace the main either panel so we got to go here on the panel, main panel footer. Uh, sorry, it's not this one because there is no image. Page footer, there you go. So it's on the page footer. Okay, and it's, it's basically the same thing. Just click on the folder to load the footer image. Select from the hard drive, and this one we want the six because that's the last number I add to the file. And click open. And now if you go and check there is now been replaced now you will notice because I added the test before it excite process I'm about to go ahead and remove that test so I'm gonna do is just go to designer here and basically remove that test because that's been added in excite pro itself okay so I remove click OK and there it goes so it's now all the replace and the next thing I need to do is just go ahead and publish. It publish I may uh, it may publish quick. Let's see, there's only two changes, two images. Okay, I gotta pause this for a minute and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so there it goes, now it's published, so the changes have been made, so I'm just going to click OK here. And we're actually going to see the, the live site. And there it goes. Okay, there is the site in the, in the new update images each. Pretty smart, I think it looks, looks good, simple easy to see so we we'll look here the change hasn't come through yet it's still loading so probably if I refresh the page and there it goes okay so that's pretty much it how to edit uh, either your header graphic and your footer graphic in Photoshop CS3 so in the next video we're gonna move on into sending a bit more uh, little bit advanced uh, so we're going to build a ebook cover okay we're going to build a e cover uh, either if it's going to be a ebook or cd or a card it all depends what i can actually use that image as well for because uh, obviously uh, designing images 
just take a bit of time because it all depends how you want to look at but remember the simple the better okay the simple the better so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching my name is Zenunis bye bye for now